In one of his first executive orders, President Biden basically forced transgenderism on our public schools. So I'm concerned about the safety for our kids in locker rooms and restrooms and, and things like that. And other than doing what we should do, praying for and laying a, a strong foundation for our kids, what else can we do to protect our kids? Great Thank question, you. and one that, uh, by the way, is coming in from dozens of people across the country share the same concern. And, and Mike, this is one I know that you guys have been involved in at ADF. Well, indeed, but I uh, want to say as an aside first that I coach Dan's daughters in softball. So, uh, so I know about girls in sports because I was a girls softball coach for a long time here in Loudoun County. Um, but uh, ADF is currently litigating two major cases on the transgender for girls in sports issue. We're litigating it at the high school level in Connecticut uh, and at the collegiate level in Idaho. And the argument is, is that biological males should not be able to com compete against biological females, that that violates Title IX, which guarantees equality. Right. So um, we were litigating those cases before President Biden issued his executive orders. We're continuing to litigate those cases. His executive order has some effect. I don't want to just... Uh, you know, discounted entirely, but it does not determine the outcome of those cases. It determines the, out, the, the position of the, the government lawyers in the case. That's been flipped, but that doesn't really matter to the, the ultimate outcome. The issue is, does the law protect the young ladies, the right to have sports for women that was fought for, for such a long time? But while sports gets a lot of people's attention, that's not the only venue. We have to have sanity in this country about gender. There's a lot of applications for it. Um, and you know, they say they want to follow the science. The science is clear. You were not assigned your gender at birth by the doctor. God assigned you your gender in your chromosomes at conception. That's right. That's what happened. And so. It, it, we, we are doing so many things that just defy common sense and defy science. The, the clear science is that the vast majority of young people who have unfortunate incidents of sexual confusion, the vast majority of them resolve on their own over time. And, and to take action to prematurely change those kids' lives, either by surgery or by any other process, is just doing an incredible harm and disservice to those children. So if you just want to focus on those kids, if, if a child uh, uh, has a normal body size, but they think that they're, they're, they're too fat, that's called anorexia. And we don't tell them, well, we're going to let you starve yourself to death so that your mind matches what you think your body should look yeah. like. Yeah. We say, no, no, we try to get you help so that your mind and your body align. The same thing is true here. Mm -hmm. That if the mind gets out of whack with your body, it's time to help the mind get oriented correctly. And professional help is probably needed. But the left is so dangerous on this, they want to ban the giving of that professional right. help. We're not talking about crazy things like electroshock therapy or anything like that. Just people talking to each other and giving them the kind of counseling that they need. That's what needs to happen. And we've, we're litigating freedom of expression cases about that. We won a case like that against New York City recently. And so ADF has been in this battle for a while and will continue in this battle. And so I just ask you to pray for those cases, particularly the two sports cases in Connecticut and in Idaho. And, and let me just mention on that issue, the, the, the good news is that we're not the only ones that have concerns about this, as, Gar right. as Mike was saying. This is just common sense. Yeah. 17 states actually have legislation going through now to address this issue of, of girls' sports. Now, I'm with Mike. I think it's a much bigger issue than girls' sports. But if that's the rallying point, if that's the huddle and we break out from there and, and, and address this insanity, insanity that's driving uh, itself across this nation, that's a good starting point. Um, and there are states working to protect minors from uh, trans treatments. Uh, so there, there's good things that are happening out there.